Hello everyone, this is Flaming Gaming here, and this is the first actual gameplay of a game that will be on the channel. So, <clears throat> today I'm going to be playing some Death Road to Canada. Now, none of you have probably heard of this game because it's not a very well-known game. But, I want to play it because why the heck not? Uh, I don't know who to be. I'm gonna be me. And shout out to my good pal Big Red. I got Trevor. Uh so it's gonna be me and my my bud Trevor. We're gonna go with familiar characters. Uh actually no. No we're not. We're gonna go normal. Yeah, start. <laughs> Andre hears rumors that Canada is a safe place, free of the threat of zombies. With nothing to gain from waiting around Florida, he decides to brave the death road and travel north. <laughs> so basically, me and Trevor are going to Canada, because it's the only safe place left in the zombie apocalypse. So we spot an abandoned Yall Mart off in the distance. It looks like it's been looted, but maybe there's some untouched loot inside. So I have a hatchet, and Trevor has a frying pan. So that's, that's all we have, other than some food and some gas. Did I go alone? Okay. So the whole point is to loot stuff and kill zombies. I can barely hear myself. Hang on. I can't change the sound. But whatever. So anyway, the whole point of this game is to loot places, get supplies, and stay alive. That's basically it. The toilets are usually useless. So... I don't usually go in there. The game is way louder than I remember it being. I'm gonna turn down the sound a little bit. Alright. Hopefully that's better. So I just got a pistol, but I don't have any ammo, so I can't shoot it. I can pistol whip, which doesn't do much damage. So I'm just gonna use my hatchet. Oh, this is a good room. So we just got some gas and some medical supplies. Some rifle ammo. And I'm going to give this to Trevor. There's a police baton or a nightstick, so I'm going to give it to Trevor. So now Trevor has a better weapon. I... Oh, uh, yeah. So now we're just going to leave because we got basically all that we could. So we have three food, 36 gas, three medical supplies, and 14 rifle bullets. So... That's that's a pretty good haul. So that that's really good for your first little mission. This is probably gonna be split into two or three parts. So so it's so quiet here. There's no signs of life or unlife. It seems like everyone took what they could and evacuated this town immediately. So I can either scavenge town thoroughly, loot quickly and run, or rest for a day. So, I don't want to be here too long. So, so a, a day probably isn't safe, because I don't want to get mauled by zombies while I'm asleep. But looting quickly and running could do damage to us, and we want to keep our, our ourselves nice and healthy, because we only have three hits before we die. So I'm going to scavenge the town thoroughly. And we got hurt. I got hurt twice. So the group combs the town for supplies left behind, but gets ambushed by a single zombie. Unfortunately, the zombie found me first. So I got hit twice. But we did get a lot of medical, so we can patch my s we can patch me up anyway. So me and Trevor just had a little chat there, and our morale went up. All right, so. The group drives into a city as it starts to get dark. Try not to lose track of time. Things can get bad after the sun sets. So, the swarm size is how many zombies there'll be. Their aggression is how much they'll attack us. And the current time, the more time it, there is, the more zombies there is. So, near sunset isn't great, but we're going to go to the lost safe house anyway to try to find some supplies. <coughs> All right. So here we go. I don't have a weapon. Yes, I do. Alright. Here we go. So here's the safe house. 
Ooh, the umbrella is actually an okay weapon, so I might take it. So I just got more pistol bullets. The pistol bullets are blue, and the rifle bullets are yellow. Oh! So here we go. Bang. Now I don't want to waste pistol bullets because there's something that'll probably happen soon, so I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's it's pretty intense and ammo and guns are probably the best option for anything that you can have during them, so So you don't actually have to kill every zombie, you can just close doors to run away. If they're in your way or they're gonna hit you, so you should probably hit back. Just knock them down and then leave. Because the whole point is that you're wanna, you wanna loot quick and get out. Ooh, a bottle isn't very good. Well, it's good for one hit. Ah, oh, there's a lot of bottles in this place, holy cow. Whoa, this kitchen is tiny, but there's some food in it, so I want it. Alright, so we got everything in there, so we shut the door and let those zombies try to break it down. Which gives us a lot of extra time. There's nothing in there, so we back out. It's getting dark, so it's going to be harder to see. But there's usually medical in bathrooms. Other than the ones that are public in, like, Yelmarts and restaurants. Oh, my umbrella just broke. So the so weapons can break other than guns, weapons can break. So sometimes you just wanna which is another good example of why we should just run. So we can either shoot some cans to increase our shooting or leave and get sleep. So if you don't sleep, you can get tired, which makes you not attack very quick and sometimes get very exhausted during a fight which can end to death so we're just gonna sleep the group finds a pristine roll of toilet paper while scavenging toilet paper was the first thing to run out after the apocalypse there's still tons of canned food and ammo left in america decent butt paper was used up fast this is the rarest resource possible, and choose wisely. So we can trade it away ASAP, which will probably get us a lot of supplies, or share this precious gift. That's probably morale. If we trade it away, we'll probably lose morale. How much morale do we have? Our morale's okay. I think we're going to trade it away. The settlement bu buys the roll of toilet paper for 20 food. Holy crap. That was, that was really good. Oh, 20 food. And our morale went up instead of going down. That was really good. Because if you run out of food, you lose so much morale. And Trevor's morale went up too because we had a nice little chat. We're going to go to the trader camp too. I got food. I'm looking for great weapons. I don't want to give her anything. What about this guy? Uh, no, he's just selling some swords. The swords aren't very good, actually. Unless you have enough to get them, they usually aren't the best decision. And there's a dog that sells ammo. So that was... This isn't a very good camp. But I have the... Uh, the tr Oh my god! <laughs> we hit the dog! So, I have a trait that is called Charming, which, 
uh, lets me charm my way into getting free stuff. 